Hey guys and gals, another quick update from Blender Tech here. So I woke up this morning and it was like, wow, my popularity just like exploded over and I got two videos linked on Adventures in Blender, so that's a good start, that makes me happy. And I had like five other comments, so well, it's a lot to start to keep up with, that makes me extremely happy. So a user named, um, sorry, Lucas Beta. I'm not sure if I uh, pronounce that right, but he's given me a, a few additions, a few tips on my own tips, and that I'm gonna that I'm going to mention in Tips and Tricks Thursday, Volume 12, coming up this Thursday, the 20. Oh, that's Christmas. Okay, maybe it might be a day early or late, but yeah, I'm gonna mention him a couple times in the next Tips and Tricks Thursdays because he brought up some good points in an old video. I showed you how to make a fan to be honest I don't even know if I have it anymore I don't even have the dot blend anymore but basically what we did is we just took a circle we extruded it we filled all the faces and then we just selected every second face extruded them out rotated them individually that is you get the idea and then we just added a subsurf and it was it was a basic fan but it was manually modeled. So he showed me, well not showed me, he reminded me of a good point of how to do this much easier. So this is called a circular array. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an empty in. I like to use plain axes most of the time. And then we're gonna add in a mesh cube. Now, you have to do a little bit of math here. So a circle by stock, if you add a circle, if you go into the F6 panel or operator panel, it has 36 vertices. So divide that by 2, that's 16. So I'm going to move my cube 16 units. So I'm going to grab along the X 16 units because that is half of 32. So it doesn't matter what size you use. Then we go and we add an array modifier to our cube. And we do the same thing. We do a count of 16. And we want no offset. No constant, no relative. We want an object offset. We want to use our empty. Now it does this weird thing. The way to fix that is to, in object mode, make sure your cursor is at the center, or if your empty is in another spot, make sure your cursor is at where the empty is. So right now my cursor is directly in the center of the empty. And hit Control alt shift c So we're setting the origin. Set the origin to the 3D cursor. Again, you'll notice that nothing really happened. Now, however, we need to do a little bit more math. We take 360 divided by 16, that gives us 22.5. So that means we need to rotate this 22.5 degrees for a perfect array. So we're gonna rotate our empty around the Z in this case. You can see it happening already. We're gonna go 22.5 degrees. And as you can see, everything is now equally spaced out. If I add in another mesh cube, and grab it. You can see from the center we have 16 units along the Y, negative 16. We have 16 units along the X, and we have negative 16 units along the X. So it's a perfect array. And from here, you could uh, you could grab the original one back. So you you can see how it really can make some interesting stuff. But you can you can move it closer or further away. So I'm gonna grab it along the X to bring it closer it makes that screwed up shape. If you want it back in the center, all you gotta do is just reset the uh, the origin to the center of the, uh, the empty. Basically, now this isn't gonna be exactly as before, but instead of doing the same fan blade over and over and over, now all we have to do is rotate it, extrude it, rotate it, and then we'll just add our subsurf, now these aren't exactly fan blades, maybe I'll scale it in the Y to get the shape a little bit better. You get the idea. By editing one, it propagates to all the others in the array. Now, like I said I, in a previous video, I use arrays a lot more than I make noticed in my videos, but uh, he just, he, uh, he mentioned that being an easier, faster, and better way to do that because that way you can edit your fan shape at any time and it'll propagate up and down to all the other all the other units in your array. So I can do any adjustment to my fan shape 
to get exactly the shape I want. So there you have it. A very, very quick, much easier fan shape. Now obviously you'd have to play with this a little bit and this has a lot more uses than making a fan blade or turbine or whatever. But yeah, this is how you make circular arrays around an empty. So I just wanted to bring that up quickly. That was uh, not a fix, but just another little thing brought up by, uh, what was his name again? Uh, Lucas de Bita. So yeah, thanks Lucas um, for mentioning that and this video is mentioning you. So congratulations and thanks for watching from the team here at BlenderTech.com. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, please like it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. We're now on Twitter at twitter.com slash blender underscore tech. That's at blender underscore tech. And Facebook at facebook.com slash blender tech page, all one word. If you want a hard copy of our videos, let us know. If you dislike this video for some reason, please tell us why and don't just hit the thumbs down button. That way we can continually improve based on community input. We also take requests. Lastly, see you later. And remember, create your way.